Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911. I'm back again with another unboxing video, and today we have something pretty cool from Sideshow. This piece has been out for about a year now, um, and I don't know if you guys just heard, but during uh, San Diego Comic Con, Sideshow had some crazy deal where it was buy one, uh, get one half off. So I bought two statues, and I got one for regular price and the second one for half the price. And uh, that other statue will be for the other unboxing, so I'll save that for later. So I got two. <laughs> uh, but this one, uh, does it say on it? Oh, it does say it's uh, the Carnage Premium Format. Premium Format meaning quarter scale um, polystone statue. And here it is. I do have one other Carnage statue, which is from Kotobukiya. And I believe that one's closer to like a one-sixth one fifth scale uh i think it for me personally i think it's in between a one fifth and one six scale it's a little bit bigger than one six so um yeah it's in between those but here it is another carnage big one i don't know where i'm going to put it i don't have any room back here but from other statue or statue it's gonna fit somewhere here <laughs> So let's uh, open this thing up. It's a fairly large box. Um, what I kind of like about this one, um, if you guys already don't know, is there's no switch outs. So all you need to do is just put this thing together and that's it. You don't have to worry about, oh man, do I want to use the other head sculpt? Do I want to use the other switch outs for the arms? Because like for those uh, XM transformers, there's so many switch outs and sometimes it's like I kind of go get dizzy just trying to figure out what or how I want to display it. So uh, this is kind of refreshing. And uh, yeah, so this one retails for 630 US. So the other one that I got was also 630 because I wanted to maximize my, uh, you know, the BOGO. And uh, yeah, let's uh, open this thing up and see what we got. What's fun I find with Venom and uh, Carnage statues is um, assembling the tendrils because sometimes you just don't know where they go um, and I think the Kotobukiya it was sort of color-coded it was like these tendrils are white and these tendrils are green um, and you just kind of had to figure out where they went so hopefully uh, it's gonna be e just as easy or easier than that okay oh so there is an art box I didn't think that there was gonna be one but uh, let's put this thing on the ground here. This is always the fun part, trying to get these boxes out of here. So what we will do is we'll let gravity do its thing versus fight gravity. And then while you pull up, you can kind of pull out on the side so air can get sucked in quicker. Yes, 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 yes. Oh boy, okay. That is a cool art box. And it's shiny. It's a shiny art box. Oh, it's a spot laminated. So there's certain parts that are matte and, uh, you know, the, the symbiote and tendrils and carnage part is a uh, gloss. I like that. Okay. There we go. Where's front and which is back. Okay. All right. So on this side, is that the front or the back? It just says Carnage. Great looking art box. I really like that with the web and everything. Very comic book looking. The art, book look, art box looks in perfect shape. So I am not worried about any damage. And then on the sides here, we have more of the tendrils and the symbiote here. Same on this side. And then on the front side, of course, we have Carnage. And I think that looks really, really cool. That would be so nice as like an art print or even like a wall mural. Wow, looks great. And then on the top, it just says Carnage. See that there? 
And on the bottom, just, you know, the licensing and whatever, Marvel, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, let's open this thing up. Brand new sealed. Probably should have flipped this upside down as well. Is there a top and bottom to this? Yes, top is where it says sideshow and bottom is where it says nothing. And that's pretty much it right there. There's uh, two pieces as a top piece and a bottom piece and we'll get to opening that th that up. Uh, yeah, what we're probably gonna do is switch to kind of like a top view and we're gonna unbox this together, right? So be right back. All right, guys, we are going to open this thing up. First, we're gonna do the top layer here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to cut out the sideshow label, because I don't wanna cut that in half. I don't know, Just that's just a personal preference that I have, and I just like to stick it on top there. <laughs> and then instead of cutting all around the whole thing, Pull off all the tape. All right. First layer is going to come off. We'll see what we got here. Oh, looks like we have carnages. Oh, that's what I heard rattling around. Kind of worried me. In my other package, there's stuff rattling around, but uh, hopefully that's nothing. So right now we have, it looks like carnage, his head, the tendrils, and uh, bottom will have to be, uh, of course, I didn't get all the tape because it ripped. Bottom will definitely have to be the base. Let's see in a second here. Yes, base and way more tendrils. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Okay. I'm worried about that because that tendril is just sticking out there. So I'm just going to try to put this on directly over it. And uh, yeah, and with the, uh, you know, with some video editing or whatever, we're going to have this all unwrapped. All right. So, and just like that, with a little bit of video editing, which my video editing skills suck, uh, it is all unwrapped. All right. So, so far, so good. Doesn't look like there's any breakages. Everything looks pretty freaking awesome. And with this new spotlight that I'm using, I can really see a lot of blue hues uh, that they put onto these tendrils or to the symbiote. Um, maybe a little too much blue for my liking. Some of the parts, it just looks straight up blue. Um, but I guess if you look at an angle, it turns black and then, but here it just looks all kind of bluish. And then there's kind of like some paint rub here on the knee. Um, and, you know, a couple of paint rubs here. I don't know if I can scratch that off. No, but uh, all in all, it looks pretty good. Um, so I'll show you guys these. There's no, well, there is a blue hint here, but on, on here, there's no blue tint, but here there's more of a blue tint. So it really depends on what side they were spraying it. If it was on their bench like this and they were spraying here, they totally forgot to do this side, which is fine. We'll see once we have it all put on. And then there's another one of the tendrils. I think these are one of the pipes from the broken base where he escapes from his cell. There's another piece here. 
Uh, another piece here. Lots of blue on one side and no blue on the other side. So they must have just had it all sitting on the table and they just sprayed one end with the blue. So let's see how that looks once it's all uh, installed. We'll go with his left hand or arm here. Looks really nice. No blue here, but blue is here. But that hand looks really cool. Nice sharp claws. Looks really, really nice. There, then we'll see his other arm here. This is the scythe, and that's what Carnage is known for, is making his body into a weapon. <gasps> There's a break. There's a break here. That sucks. I just felt it because I was holding it like this, and I, I don't even see that piece in here. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to message Sideshow about that. That really sucks. Hopefully they can send me a replacement piece because I don't know how long it goes or whatever. I didn't see any bits in this box. Maybe he's under the... No, I have no idea. Maybe it's in the bag. Hmm. Let me check these bags here, but it doesn't look like there's any missing pieces in these bags, unless it's really tiny. <sighs> It'd be nice if there was, and I could probably just glue that piece back on. And I have some DIY skills that I could paint it, but it doesn't even look like it's there. As if it was like maybe broken from the factory. Good thing, even though I did some uh, video editing, I recorded the whole unwrapping. So hopefully that video catches it and I can show to Sideshow that I didn't break that. That really sucks. Anyways, we'll continue on. Uh, this is Carnage's body here. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I don't see any missing pieces, broken pieces in there. And that is a big, big body. Lots of blue here, if you guys can see it. even down his spine there. And it looks like all the tendrils are color-coded. This one's white, silver, blue, black, green, yellow. So it should be pretty good, pretty easy to, to install. Yeah, the detail's really nice, but we'll do some close-ups once we have this thing all assembled. Oh, that really, really sucks. I am really bummed out about that. Ah. All right, let's remove this part here. And then it goes down and shows us the base. And of course here we have more tendrils. This one has a lot less blue. Not sure if somebody else painted this one. How did this go in. We'll just put it like that. This one, also more subtle blue, which I kind of like better. This one actually has quite a bit of blue. As these things are all hand painted, of course, there's going to be different variations and whatnot. One of those gel packs, and then this is two of the pieces of the base there. More tendrils. Did I show this one yet? I have no idea. <laughs> There's so many tendrils. All right, and then of course, the base. Now the base, you gotta be really careful when you pull it out because there's these pieces that stick out here. Ooh, that one seems pretty loose. And then there, you have some uh, 
of the symbiote tendrils coming out there. So you don't want to break that. That looks very delicate. So where you want to kind of grab it is right underneath here where there's nothing. Just kind of tilt it upwards. And you kind of lift it. It's not that heavy. And what's really cool is that it has the cell 361. And if you all kind of are a fan of Carnage, you know that the first appearance of Carnage was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 361, 1993. I think it's 1993 at least. And then on the bottom here is, there's a high, uh, they made a big edition size. There's 3,500 of these. This one's 1544. It would have been cool to be uh, number 365 or 361. Why am I saying 365? 361. But a uh, really nice base in good old um, sideshow style fashion. There is Carnage there with his scythe, Carnage premium format figure, and all the licensing and whatever. All right, so I'm gonna leave this piece out. I'm gonna put this piece over here. I'm gonna put that on the turntable. I'm going to move the camera back again. And while I'm off camera, I'm gonna look for that broken piece and we'll see what is going on. All right, so be right back. All right, we're gonna kind of do like a semi close up uh, assembly video. Uh, I couldn't find that broken piece. So most likely it got damaged uh, while they were after they finished painting it or something and nobody noticed, it's probably a very small tip. I have to like refer to photos online uh, to see what exactly, how big that piece is. So hopefully Sideshow will just send me a replacement part. And uh, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is with Carnage himself. And it looks like he pegs here because that's a pretty big peg. And I think he goes in this way. I think his foot then rests there. Okay, so let's kind of line up where his foot goes. Maybe on an angle. And there we go sit it in and you want to kind of press them into the peg and that is nice and flush his foot there is quite a bit of a gap i might have to i'm not sure he is not there is a pretty big gap down there it's not sitting in his foot there's no peg there but his foot doesn't sit flush with it there's a good space there. Yeah, his foot's just floating off the bottom. But we'll see that up close. He's pegged in perfectly here. There is no gap whatsoever. He's just right on there, which looks really good. Uh, yeah, okay. So next we are going to do his right arm here. So oh, that pegs right in there. A little bit of a seam showing there. It's not bad, it's not bad. What really bothers me is that part right there. Okay, and then we'll do his scythe arm. This one fits much better than the other one, but it's missing a lot of its gloss over here. It's very matte. It's almost like they forgot to put on the varnish there, which kind of sucks. All right, so that's that. Oh, this missing chunk here is really bothering me. All right, so now with the tendrils, these tendrils, okay, I guess this tendril is black and that's gonna go here. Nice. And then this one is purple. And I, is 
that one purple? Purple, purple, purple. Is this purple? It is purple. No, oh, is it down here? No, that's green. That's yellow. Okay, we'll figure out where that goes after. <laughs> Okay, we got some baby blue going on here. That goes right there. We have red. I did not see red anywhere. Huh. Red it will be harder to see because Carnage himself is painted red. Oh no, there's a peg down here. Turn it to the camera so everybody can see right here. Not sure. oh, that's the orientation it goes in. Nice. And then this is one of, this is gold. And it looks like they pegged down here. Just like that. Uh, and we have this pink one here. And that pegs right in there. It's in Still see kind of a seam there, but the gloss kind of takes away from it. You really have to be kind of up close to see it. And the next pieces we have here is white and gray. So white is here and gray is, is that one gray? That is, no, it's a different gray. So this one looks like it's for the base because it's a little thicker. So that goes right there. And then the white on like that. The magnets are pretty strong. You do not have to worry about those. All right. I'm going to grab all the pieces here, put them on the table. Let's see here we have a bronze. Not sure where that goes. I find this really um, satisfying, kind of looking for it, finding, and then keying it in. Um, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Don't know where the bronze goes, so let's go with the, the green that I see here. That just pegs right there. That's actually quite nice how they've done that. And then I know the yellow kind of goes down here. That pegs and holds very nicely. Not sure if there's actually supposed to be just kind of like a drilled hole there. But we'll just go with it. All right, that pegs right there. This one is gray and it looks like it fits on this way or not. No, the shape goes this way, so it has to peg in that way. This one doesn't peg in as nice. If you push it, it goes in. All right, got these two pieces here. This is the pink, and this is the blue. I feel they all face the same way, I guess so. Will that touch the floor? If that does, does it go the other way? I think that's better. I'm not sure. Yeah, if it went the other way, it would it would touch the ground if it wasn't on this turn turntable. Okay, so where do these two pieces go? You guys probably see it on camera, and I have no clue where these. Ah ha ha! There's one that goes right there. Pegs in nice there. Purple. Come on, purple. Where art thou purple peg? Or keyhole? <laughs> ah, 
right down here. You have to look, you have to be underneath because when you're looking up top, you just see that and that just goes right there. Perfect. So we have them all assembled and he actually looks really good. Oops. What I forget? <laughs> his head. It looks good without the head um, at this angle. And then of course, when you go up top, he's missing his head, which I have still in the box. And I, I want to show you guys the head here. I know a lot of people were complaining that they had a very um, sloppy application in the eyes, like a lot of black was bleeding in and a lot of kind of blue, but these ones are perfect. And I don't know if you guys can see up close, but there's veins in the eyes, which is really nice. And it is not pure white. It's kind of like this off yellowish, reddish, kind of makes it more sinister looking white, kind of darker in the edges and it goes lighter and darker up here. But the detail on this is phenomenal. And inside the mouth looks great. And he looks like he has a chipped tooth here. Uh, not sure if it's supposed to look like that. I have to double check. I'm sure it's supposed to be sharp, uh, but it kind of looks like it's split. I don't know if that was damaged and then they just painted over it, uh, but I'll have to refer to other photos just to, just to see. All right. And the final piece pegs in right there. Wow. And this is the way that he will kind of face and he looks amazing. Well, I was like this close in buying an XM Studios, like old school, like it, it's been out for a few years. Uh, that Carnage, the one where he's uh, hanging off like the roof of a, I don't know, tower, um, off like a steeple or something. And I thought that looked really, really cool until I saw the concept photos when XM first said that they were going to do the Carnage. And the concept photos look way better because it had all these, like the symbiote uh, going up that, that steeple, that, that, that building, and it looked way cooler, but they couldn't do it back then. And uh, Sideshow has done it here, uh, and it looks really, really good. All right, so we're going to take the camera off the tripod, and uh, we're going to do some close-ups. All right, so stay tuned. Actually, I can't take it off the tripod because I got a, kind of got this whole new ring light set up with the light on it. Um, and now we're trying to film in 4K. So hopefully that this shot will be enough for you. Uh, we'll zoom in. And that is the base there. You can see like all the details right there with all the black symbiote there. Not sure if that is venom that he's just stomped out into like goo <laughs> or uh, that's just him just infecting the structure breaking out of his prison cell which is cell 361 really really nice detail the rocks look great uh, the shading kind of like the, the green oxidation um, kind of like algae kind of growing on the concrete looks good the rebar sticking out the pipes uh, all look great um, yeah, but really the, the, the thing I love about this most is usually Carnage's symbiote is all black. And uh, you, usually on Venom, you kind of see the blue haze, uh, like the hues. And I like how they did it here. Just not just this shiny black. It's, it has some depth to it, even though this one is completely black. And that one up here, oh, you can't see it. But uh, some of these are straight black, but on the other side is blue. So it's, it's really was up to the artist uh, who decided to do that. And then down here, you kind of see the gap. He's not sitting flush here at all. Like I can put my finger through there, which sucks. I'm going to have to take some photos and send it to Sideshow. Like it doesn't bother me as long. Maybe over time it will lean. <laughs> That's one thing that statue collectors never want to hear is lean, but maybe it'll lean back into this spot. Uh, but everything else looks great. Um, you can see the seams here, you know, where when I move it, uh, but it's not, it's not bad. It looks great still in the rebar here. Yeah, it looks good. And then we'll just kind of pan up here to uh, his lower body where his feet are. 
we can see the scythe there is really, really nice. And then I like how they did different shading here, how it's lighter here. And it goes to dark. And I really like the red that they use for Carnage. Um, it's kind of like this dark red. It looks, and he looks very fibrous. You can see all the muscle tone in his legs. Oops. And uh, here, and I think that looks really, really good. I like how they did uh, the black symbiote coming down here. The tendrils look good. The back looks good too. Kind of see where his spine is and whatnot. Do his upper body now. So you can see here how these tendrils here are just straight black. But then from this side here, you can see that there's like a blue hue to them. So uh, yeah, that was all during the paint process. And here with the, the scythe, you can kind of see the serration, not serrations, but you can kind of see the edges. And it's like these straight cuts that go this way. So it kind of like makes it look like very edged, a very sharp kind of like a, a knife or a blade, which obviously a scythe is, right? <laughs> yeah. And then we will focus in on Carnage's head there if we can. And again, I love that portrait. It looks really, really good. I think Sideshow knocked this one out of the park. Uh, to me, this is probably the best looking uh, licensed Carnage out there right now. Um, edition size be damned. Uh, 3,500 gives all collectors out there a chance to own this amazing piece. And uh, I don't care if it's such a high edition size. This just looks cool. And everybody should own a Carnage that looks as good as this. Wow. Like, this is so substantial. It's so thick. And look at all the details in the side here. Like, all the muscle fibers and the tissues. And oh, it just looks so good. Look at that back. Did such a good job. Kudos to Sideshow on this one. Uh, I was starting to lose faith on some of their uh, stuff that they've been releasing, but this one, they did a really, really good job. And you can really see those, those veins in the eyes. Just looks so good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys own it? Do you guys want to buy it now after you've seen my video? Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, comment below and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.